Laughing Historically. Welcome to Laughing Historically. I'm Brandon. And I'm Nevin. And we're going to talk politics. Yep, we're talking about the good old nitty gritty politics again. With November approaching, I thought, and with my voter registration card just being mailed like last <laughs> week, I thought it would be appropriate to talk about the election coming up, but not really focus on this election, but maybe a previous election. And talk about the election of 1824 and 1828. And uh, this is 1824 was when John Quincy Adams ran for presidency with against uh, Andrew Jackson. And these are the good old days, right? This is like America at its finest. It's early and it's great and everything's really Whoa, positive. Supposedly, this is the election that kind of ends all that. They call it the end of the era of good feelings. Oh, so quite yeah, downer. <laughs> and in 1824, what happened? Give me some little background. Andrew Jackson was running against uh, John Quincy Adams for the presidency. Jackson actually gets the uh, popular, gets the most of the vote, the electoral votes. He gets 99, and uh, Quincy Adams only gets 81. And because there's no majority, they have to figure out who's going to be president. Because back uh, that's how you decide. Sounds now, familiar. We've it, had it, this before. We have. We have recently. <laughs> and back then, they didn't really have a way of settling election without a majority. So they came up with the system that we know now, which is when they go to the House of Representatives and they try to figure out who's going to sway, the, who's going to win the election. The leader of the House of Representatives, Henry Clay, who's kind of friends with Quincy Adams, oh. decides to put things more in favor for him. And long story short, Quincy Adams wins the presidency and Jackson is back to doing people and very angry at everyone. This kind of leads up to 1828 because Jackson runs again. He comes back. And he has a whole new ballot. He's the common man. And now Jackson is angry. Jackson's angry. This is when they start calling him Old Hickory. He <laughs> really loves Hickory Farms uh, Christmas locks. No, they call him that because he pretty much was an old piece of wood. And so, because <laughs> the man was just so angry all the time. Mm-hmm. So angry. And it starts the whole idea of campaigning because back then, yeah, they campaigned, but no one really went around from city to city to city. And Jackson just pretty much went around each city just trash-talking Adams and just saying how bad he is and how he's not going to help America and how he's going to help America. Which is very similar to what we do today. Exactly. <laughs> so it's a good little you know, parallel to how things... I'm, I'm Andrew Jackson, and I approve this message. It, it's pretty much. <laughs> he starts pretty much trash-talking Adams right off the bat about how Adams is an American, about how he went away to Russia when he was a child. Jackson says he's not American anymore. Uh, he's show, more... show me your birth certificate. Yeah, exactly. Adam's retort is that Jackson, he married, he took, he stole, he stole his wife from another man, and supposedly they say that Jackson swept her off her feet and took her from her husband. Uh, so, and, like, it stresses his wife out to the point where when Jackson does win the election, his wife dies, and Jackson blames all the people for trash talking his wife and him and says that they're the ones who actually killed his wife. Whoa. Adams kind of called out Jackson for being very, uh, for pretty much being an assassin. Assassin? It, yeah, pretty much an assassin. You don't, you, don't, you don't hear that. You don't hear that much no, today. No, no. <laughs> Jackson killed a man in 1806 for dueling him. Back then, dueling was a very big thing. Yeah, we all did it. We all did it. We all dabbled in the duel. We all dabbled. We all dabbled. We all dabbled back in the 1800s. Usually, you're supposed to be a duel is actually shoot above the person, and whoever fires first wins. But Jackson was known to actually shoot the person. I mean, if you remember in the Battle of New Orleans when Jackson won in the War of 1812, yeah. he killed off all the people who he thought were deserters. And people say that they were deserters, and Jackson just didn't like them. <laughs> so Adams pretty much published this whole thing called the Coffin Handbill, and it's pretty much this, like, this p- pamphlet of just coffins of all the people that presumably Jackson has killed. <laughs> and the whole paper is just full of coffins. Well, this would be done as a website today. I guess, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, for distribution purposes. This is still the same stuff happening yeah, today. Yeah, same stuff. <laughs> same stuff. And in the end, Jackson does win the election. And he still continues to go against Adams. And Jackson is the one who um, actually took away Quincy Adams' Hollow Earth theory. It was probably one of the worst elections I can possibly think of in American history. You can help us out by writing a review on iTunes. 
more funny history and loving historically.